Hey guys, what's going on, it's your boy Real Little King, guys, and we're back with another video. So, guys, in this video, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to connect your PlayStation 4 to your smartphone or your iPad. Alrighty, guys. So, first off, we're going to go to the App Store. Right here. Alright, so we're going to type in Remote Play. And it should bring up PlayStation. So right here, you see there's an app called PS4 Remote Play. So click get. So we're gonna just download that real quick. Alright you guys, so once you click install, we're just yep, we're just uh quickly installing the app. Um I'm this is an iPad Air, so it is gonna be a little bit slow. Uh but yeah, um if you look down in the reviews it basically says that it's good for like mobile devices, um for like the iPhone 7, the iPad 6 Gen, or iPad Pro, you know. It's recommended, but uh, I believe it does also work on um, older gen iPads and uh, uh, smartphones. So here's the remote play PS4. So basically, guys, you just kind of click start. So what you could do is you could try um, connecting. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna try connecting by. All right, guys. So we're quickly just gonna log in real quick, and then uh, we are gonna continue. Alright, so once you guys log in, it's going to say signing into PlayStation Network. So, what you could do is uh, try searching via internet. Um, this way it may be a little bit slower and sometimes it does not connect. So this is stuff like cannot find the PS4. So, in order to do this one right here, um, so which we'll is uh, put in, basically manually put in a code, which can be found on your PlayStation 4. You're going to need a monitor or like a TV screen, you know, and you're going to need to access your PlayStation 4. So we're going to go up and we're going to go into settings on the uh, PlayStation over here. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we find um, remote play connection settings. So as you can see up here, it says enable remote play. So make sure that is checked. And then you go down to add device and click X. So here we have a code. Um, we're going to enter that code into here. So 8229. One eight five five. So we just put it in here. Um, for everyone, the code is different. So uh, yeah, do not worry. It changes um, every time that you open up this menu. See, every like three hundred seconds, it'll change. Click register. So it'll start registering. And here, I see how it just disappeared. It says that I've connected using remote play. So now you can see that the the screen now appears onto my iPad. So yeah, um, basically you're able to um, just control um, your device, I mean your PS4 using your uh, device. So yeah. It does depend on your internet connection. For me it is a little bit laggy because my internet is kind of slow. But I do believe that the faster your internet is, um, the better it would be. So yeah, we're literally just open up Fortnite right now. and. Um, So up here you can see we have Fortnite loaded up, and um, yeah, so down here also on my iPad we also have um, Fortnite, so we're just going to play a quick game, um, so yeah, we're just reading up right now, and um, yeah, the problem is um, this is an older device so it does have a little bit of problems connecting to um, the internet, but generally if you have a newer device, um, it should be able to connect and it'll be a little more faster because um, there's a little bit of input lag as you can see that, that this would load up first and then this would load up next like a split second after like two maybe a millisecond or two like you know uh, slower but uh, generally it's you know it's pretty good well, you guys, I just want to let you guys know that um, also the faster your internet the um, faster um, it'll you'll be able to um, to see and the more the better quality it would be um, for people that are experiencing a lot of lag um, what you could do is turn on the settings and I will, I'll show you guys how right now one sec guys alright let's go to remote play again so a uh, quick little thing if you go up here um, click uh, setting and then you can change video quality for remote play so if you have to and it's really lag you can set it down to low if your internet's really good, I'd say go uh, high. Depending on your, if your PS4, if your PS4 is one of the newer ones, like the Pro, you could do best. 
because it says um, best 1080p is only available for like certain kind of PS4s, which is like the newer ones. But for most PS4s, which is like the older ones like mine, um, you can do some 1080p, which is still pretty good. Um, but that is because of PlayStation and, you know, um, just what, I don't know, it's a rule that they made. And, um, yeah, but you can set your frame rate to high or standard. Um, keep mine as standard because I'm using my iPad here and it's kind of old now. So, yeah, but if you have a newer device, you should be able to up the settings um, to higher, depending on your connection and also on your depending on your device. But um, that is about it. So, yeah, mine is actually a little bit laggy, but it is because I have an older device. But if you use an, a newer device, it'll be uh, much more... Um, you know, f much more faster, and, um, yeah, did not mean to do with it. So, yeah, I mean, you can see that it does work, um, yeah, it is really laggy, but yeah, like I said, if you have a newer device, um, it'll be much better, you'll be able to up the, the resolution, um, even more, but, um, yeah, it is a little, kind of playable. Uh, so yeah, I keep back hitting the wrong button. But yeah, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, if you just want to disconnect, all you have to do is close the app. So we're just gonna close the app right now. So it's gonna say that um, we have disconnected, and um, yeah, so uh, that's kind of about it. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really hoped it helped you guys, so um, please do make sure to sub subscri subscribe. Um, it really really helped me out if uh, you guys did, and um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below, and I will try my absolute best to respond to your guys' is comments and questions. So, without further ado, guys, peace out.